All right, so can you guys see my screen now? So just give me a thumbs up if you guys can see my screen and if my voice is uh, loud and clear enough. All right. Okay, so thank you for those uh, who res uh, responded. Okay, so again, here's the electrical circuits. However, this is now a laboratory. So whatever you will learn on the lecture, you're going to apply it here on the uh, laboratory. Though it's not uh, actual since we are in ODL, online distance learning. So you're going to use a simulator, okay? And that simulator is the LT Spy 17. So I already did mention that you guys have to download this one. So this this morning. I, I, I hope that you guys have already downloaded the uh, LT Spice and then installed it on your uh, laptop or desktop so that you guys can check that one already if it's uh, working or no. Okay, and then if uh, ever that there's a problem, then please let me know. Okay, because that's the one that that's the one that you're going to use all throughout uh, that is uh, course right here. Okay. All right. So without a further delay, let's now start. So again, hi, hello. My name is Dan Melpol S. Abedra. So here is the spelling of my name. So I graduated uh, as a computer engineering at UZ. Okay, same. We, uh, just like what I mentioned a while ago. So year uh, 2018. And then here are my areas of uh, interest. Anyway, so basically everything is the same. So I will not uh, go over with this, uh, with this one anymore. And then for the syllabus, so uh, you will see right here that uh, the things that you know uh we will finish on the lecture you're just you're just going to uh, apply it here basically but we will dissect that one like for example in module one so it will be dissected into three parts or two parts okay like for example this one uh module i mean lab number one is about lab number one is about uh resistance only and then lab number two will talk about ohm's law lab number three will talk about power Lab number four will talk about series, parallel, network, and tiers of slow. Lab number five will talk about Maxwell loop. So uh, it has more section than uh, on the lecture. Okay. So yeah, if you guys would like to see the topics that we're going to have for the next week or next next week, then feel free to visit the uh, syllabus. Okay. And then for the ebook, so I cannot really find an ebook for this one though. Uh, there are some articles or uh, short tutorials, like maybe 10 page only, 10, 10 to 20 uh, page uh, on how to use LT Spice. Okay, and then for the basis of evaluation, that's pretty much the same. So we're going to evaluate you uh, with uh, your discussion, how you discuss things. So in every module, you're going to have a case studies. So case study number one, number two, number three, and so on and so forth. Okay, and then for the last two, so the quizzes and assignments uh, will be combined as one. So that will be your uh, laboratories. Okay, so we have a total of five laboratories in midterms. Okay, so lab number one and two for week one, and then lab number three and four for week two, and then lab number five uh, for the week three. So a total of five laboratories before your midterm exam. And of course, we're going to evaluate you also uh, with your uh, exams, of course. So midterm exam and then final exam. And then everything is pretty much the same. So you have to finish all of the uh, requirements of this course, unless you will get a grade of INC, okay? And then same uh, competition grade. So you should uh, at least get 60% in everything. So that's an equivalent of 75 uh, in UC, all right? And then for the modules, so uh, again, there were only seven, I guess. Yeah, seven uh, people who uh, did uh, submit their one-minute video. So please, to the others who haven't submitted their one-minute video yet, so please do this one before the given due date. Okay, so I would like uh, to learn more about you guys. So your name, where you guys came from, what are your expectations with the subject and so on and so forth? Sir? Uh, yes? 
Sir, paano kung concern, magka-press, uh, ako po rin yung teacher ko sa kabilang electronics po, sir. Sinan ko rin daw po kasi. Kala ko magka-press lang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suppose, yeah, I, I just actually uh, saw that most of you, actually all of you, uh, did the same. So whatever you guys did submit in lecture, you guys also did submit that one on the laboratory. So, yeah, I guess they're the same when it comes to one, two, and three. This one. Your name, of course, will still be the same. Your location will still be the same. Your description of the gadget will still be the same. However, your expectation to the uh, course should be different since, you know, this is already a laboratory, not a lecture anymore. So that should be uh, different. Well, uh, ko na kasi. <laughs> so let me just check if you guys can still... Uh, so yeah, I think you can still resubmit since the uh, allowed attempts is unlimited. So uh, I guess it's okay. So just submit yep. again a new video, okay? And then uh, of course there should be a new expectations, okay? Thank you, sir. Thank you. This will serve as my basis on what you guys would like to learn, etc., etc. Okay. All right. So the second thing that I mean, yeah, actually, what not the second thing, the major thing, uh, why we're having this meeting is we're going to have a short tutorial or let's say short introduction using the LT Spy Seventeen. Well, in my case, I have already uh, downloaded and installed that one on my computer, so I will just type it, type it right here, and then just open this LT Spy Seventeen. So may I ask if you guys have already downloaded and installed the LT Spy 17? So just give me a thumbs up if you already have this application. One, two, so three. There were only three out of, I'm not really sure, maybe 20. There's, there's 20 of you guys right here. One, two, three, four. Well, uh, to those who doesn't have the Altis Spice yet, then uh, I guess it's also okay. So just download it now as soon as possible so that you can uh, open it and then, you know, you can explore it as soon as possible. All right. So right after downloading this one, this Altis Spice 17, so you can now uh, visit this Altis Spice uh, hat keys command. So this one is LT Spice 4 actually. Though there are some uh, commands or most of the commands are still working as it is. Uh, as it is. Okay. So the commands before in the previous version is still the same with the LT Spice 17. Okay. So make sure to check these two links right here. Okay. So just wait a second. So in here, it will uh, show to you all of the uh, shortcuts, okay? The hat is that you guys need to learn to make your work uh, faster than ever. Like for example, especially the uh, placing of components. So R for resistor, C for capacitor, L for inductor, D for diode, G for ground, etc., etc. And then for the schematic, so starting from the escape, so to, e to escape, or I mean to uh, exit or to cancel something. And then starting from the uh, F3 right here. So here's where you can draw a wire. And then uh, F5 is delete, F6 is duplicate, F7 is move, and so on and so forth. So just check uh, this one, okay? And then for the, where is that one? For the undo, it's not Control Z, okay? Because Control Z is for the zoom area, and then Control B is for the zoom back. Okay, if you want to hit the, con I mean the uh, undo, it should be F9. Okay, and then for redo, okay, so it's not control Y or any other shortcut. So it's shift plus F9. All right, so just take note on those uh, uh, comments, okay? And then the rest, so just read them and then try to analyze. Maybe you will be able to uh, use them in the future, okay? And then for the LT guide, this is just a short... Uh, tutorial, so 13 slides. So feel free to read, oops. please read this one, okay? Feel free to read this one. This will only take you maybe an hour just to analyze everything. So this will give you short uh, activities, 
how to put some labels, how to put some comments, how to delete things, how to move, how to copy, how to rotate, etc., etc. Okay. And then some uh, notes that you guys need to take note. Okay, so uh, just read this one. Okay, 13, uh, 13 slides. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, say uh, material or ebook that I can give to you guys when it comes to all these spies uh, tutorials or application. And then after that, so you can now proceed. Let's say once you're done in, you know, uh, let's say uh, familiarizing, not really mastering, familiarizing the usage of uh, Altis Spy 17, then you can now proceed and uh, answer the laboratory number two. So for the lab number one, you don't really need Altis Spy as part of one yet. So all you need to do is watch a tutorial on how to calculate a resistor. Okay. So this laboratory uh, should be done uh, on the face-to-face -face method because you're going to use three method for this one supposedly but since we are in odl or uh, online distance learning so you're only going to use one actually okay so uh, resistance measurement by color coding only well if you have a meter or a vom volt on meter then you can uh, buy some resistors okay in electronic uh, electronic trap and then uh, start measuring the uh resistance value of that one. But if, uh, you know, since it's quite risky and then there's no nearby electronic shop uh, where you can buy uh, a VOM and then a resistor, then just use this one, resistance measurement uh, via color code. So as its name uh, trying to imply, color coding just by looking to its colors, uh, you'll be able to know the exact value of that uh, resistor. So uh, here's a description before you measure, why you measure, uh, the things that you need to know uh, before you uh, know about uh, measuring things. So like the relationship of the voltage, current, resistance, and then more definitions. And then it will, uh, I've included here the easy way wherein you're going to use uh, DMM or the VOM or the meter that we are uh, seeing in here. So that is the easy way. Okay, because you're just uh, going to put the probe, the positive and negative on that specific component, and then you'll have the reading right away. And then the not easy way is, you know, just by using a computation, okay, like uh, this uh, circuit right here. And then you will put here the uh, DMM. So yeah, it's still with the use of uh, digital multimeter. And then you'll be, uh, be able to identify the value of the uh, R unknown uh, right here, or the resistance itself. Okay. And then the uh, third one, actually, the uh, third method that you're going to use is the one that you're going to answer. This one right here on how to uh, measure a resistor using a color coding method. Okay, so when it comes to a uh, color coding method, so uh, there's a lot of tutorials on the YouTube. Okay, that will teach you, if not mistaken, I, I did include a video so under module overview for week one, I think I included here a video on how to, uh, yeah, how to measure resistance using uh, digital multimeter. So just in case that you you want to know how to measure a resistance using a DMM, so just click this video. And uh, if you want a Tagalog video, so you can also click this one, the letter B paano i-test ang resistor or how to test resistor Tagalog uh, gamit ng analog at digital multimeter. And then for the letter C, how to read a resistor by its color code. So this is the one that you need to watch. Okay, the letter C uh, enable for you to answer the lab number one right here. Okay, so you can uh, base uh, from this picture. But before that, you have to watch, you have to watch this one first, of course. So this is just a two-minute video, more or less. Okay, so the first one has a value, second one has a value, and then the third one is the multiplier, and then the last one is the tolerance. Okay, so uh, I will not explain this one to you guys uh, anymore since that is now your only job for you to be able to understand 
how to measure a uh, resistor uh, using a color coding. Okay, so don't you guys worry. This is just a two-minute video, so you will learn this one uh, right away. Just uh, right after uh, watching this uh, video right here. Okay, so again, you can check the uh, video under this video materials. Okay, and then the last one is just a tutorial on how to use LT Spice. So this is a preparation before you can go and jump and and uh, start answering the uh, laboratory number two. Okay. Though you know, I think I think uh, even though even though without uh, uh, a tutorial, you'll be able to understand this one since I I uh, need a thorough instruction on how to, you know, uh, where to measure uh, this, uh, where you're going to put the voltages, where you're going to put the uh, resistance, and then what is this, and then uh, the ground, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so this is just a nine questions, a combination of uh, using a simulator LT spice and then using a manual computation, just to compare if, you know, you have the same uh, result or answer. Then after that, just give a short conclusion on what you've learned from step one to step nine. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the love number one and love number two. And then right after this meeting, this is where I will put the recorded uh, Zoom meeting, of course, on the uh, watch uh, videos. And then again, uh, be sure to check this uh, case study also. So this is also 3D points. So again, you'll be given a fax and then a question. So all you need to do is share your opinion. What, you can, what can you say regarding with this one? Okay, so there is no incorrect answer with this one. So uh, feel free to answer this one with your, uh, uh, with your uh, own uh, thinking, you know, with your own opinion. I will not say that uh, that one is incorrect. Okay, it's just a matter of how you convince me with your uh, explanation, okay? So yeah, that's pretty much it for the week one. So just two laboratories. So were you guys able to follow so far before we uh, start and uh, having a short tutorial when it comes to uh, using uh, LT Spice? So question. Question, question, or clarification? And if none, just Answer. give me Okay, just give me a thumbs up. So, dalawa lang. Dalawa lang sumasagot. Nasa na iba? Okay, good. Kala ko nag-ML na kayo or kung ano eh. Okay, so let's start now with the LT Spice tutorial. Okay. So when opening the uh, LT by 17, you will see this one. It's like, uh, actually, it looks like a turtle to me. So this is his head, and then this is like uh, his body, and then his uh, feet right here. But uh, actually, I don't know. This seems like a, uh, what do you call it? Or it looks like a tire. Well, anyway, that's just the uh, interface of the LT Spice 17. So the first thing that you need to do is create a new schematic. Okay, just click this new right here, new schematic, let's play button. And then it will change the background into something like this. All right. And then the second thing that you guys might want to check is, you know, to change maybe the background color. So you can change that one right here on, where is that one? Here under tools and then color preferences. So you can change the uh, schematic and then the background and then you can play with the colors, etc, etc. So it's now up to you what is your preferred background color. Okay, but in my case, I always go with the white one. Oops, that's not the background. Background. Oops, right here, 255, 255. That's my preferred color. And then the second thing that you guys would like maybe to change is your wires. So let me just uh, bring this one back to the original color. Because a green color is uh, not that good. 
So let's say you want to change the uh, color of your wire. So by default, the color of your wire is uh, black. So you can change that one into blue, a light cyan blue, a green, okay, or any color that you, uh, you want, okay, as long as it's visible, okay. But in my case, I'll just use the uh, default, okay. Ah, the default color of the uh, wire here is uh, blue, my bad. It's not uh, black, okay. It's uh, blue, all right. So for the background, I'll just bring this one back to the uh, white, okay. Oops, why did it begin gray? There you go, okay. And then the rest, so it's now up to you. What are things that you guys would like to change in here? So yeah, this is pretty much like uh, a theme where you can change the uh, colors of uh, your components. And then for the waveforms, so I didn't change anything in here. So it's up to you if you want to change the waveform of your V1, the waveform of your uh, I mean, the color uh, of your V1 waveform, the color of your uh, waveform V2, and so on and so forth. But by default, the first one is a uh, green one, second one is uh, blue, third one is red, and so on and so forth. Okay. So right after uh, tweaking your uh, preference color, a preference uh, preferred theme, then the next thing you guys would like to do maybe is to add some components right away. So to do that one, just go over right here, and then you will see some, some uh, basic components. So you will see here a ground. Okay, so wait a second. Okay, you will see here a ground, a, a label net, a resistor, capacitor, inductor, diode, compo uh, more components. So uh, I mentioned a while ago that these are just the basics. So if the components that you're looking for is not uh, in here, especially voltage source, then you can go here on the components. Okay, so you can click this one or you can click F4, uh, F4, F2. Other. Okay, so it will lead you to this uh, select component symbol tab. So in here you can find the voltage source. You can also find uh, a zener diode. Uh, wait a second. And you will also see here a current source if that is needed. Well, that will be needed on the following uh, topics. Okay, but for now, uh, the only thing that you need to get in here is a voltage source. So just hit OK, and then you can now place it anywhere you want. So to zoom in and zoom out, just hold your uh, hold your uh, Alt uh, button, and then uh, you can scroll your uh, mouse to zoom in and zoom out. Okay. So let's say I'll put the uh, V1 right there. And then to pan, just left click, and then uh, just hold that one, and then you can now uh, start panning on your uh, background, okay? And then the next one is maybe you wanted to uh, have a resistor, then just click this resistor right here or just hit R, okay? And then let's say you want you want to rotate the resistor, then uh, to rotate this one, you can go over right here uh, or you can use the shortcut. You can use the, oops, you can use the shortcut Okay, control R, okay, to rotate a certain component, All right? So let's say you wanted to uh, represent your R into a vertical uh, position, and then R2 is into a, ah, uh, this one is horizontal, rather, and then this one is a vertical uh, representation. And then let's say we have that uh, circuit R1, R2, and R3, and then they are in C disconnection. So to Put a wire, okay, so you can left click this one, ah, not that, this pencil, okay, this is a wire, okay, or you can uh, hit F3, okay, just hit F3, and then it will give you this, uh, like a big crosshair, so just left click this one, so the good thing with wire, why is it not working? Ah, maybe the color of my wire is white. Let me just check. Ah, yeah. So the color of my wire became white. So that's the reason why I cannot see uh, my wire. Anyway, let me just delete this one. So hit F3 and then left click. 
And then the good thing with this one is you don't need to hold, uh, you know, uh, the mouse button to uh, extend this one. You can just uh, release that one. And then once you will stop, just hit that one again. And then you can now start moving. Okay. And then you don't need to check it uh, node by node or let's see, uh, point by point by point. So all you need to do is pass through that uh, component and then it will automatically uh, attach to that specific component. Okay, the same with the R2 and then the R3. And then going back to our negative uh, voltage. Sorry for that. Amena Dexus. All right, so the next thing that you guys would like maybe to do is to put a, uh, a ground or a label. Well, just always put a ground, okay? Since uh, this one is um, uh, uh, a requirement, okay? When it comes to uh, having a circuit in LT Spice. So there must be always a ground uh, on your circuit. So the next thing that you need to do is maybe change the uh, values, okay? Or put some values on these uh, components. So just left click, okay, this component or that specific component. And then since we're talking about voltage, then let's say 10 volts. So you don't need to put a V anymore, okay? Just put 10, that will be fine, okay? That's already considered as 10 volts. So you can also put here negative 10 if it's needed. So that will also work, that's also okay. But in my case, uh, in my case I'll just uh, put here 10 volts. And then for the R1, so let's say this is 500 ohms. So again, you don't need to put ohms right here. Just the value will be fine. Okay, it will uh, work uh, perfectly. Okay. So if you want to put kilo ohms, okay. So that's also possible. Oops. It's also possible. Just where is it? Ah, oh, yeah, that's great. So that's also possible. So just let's say, uh, say 200. Kilo ohms, so just put here 200 k. So that's an indicator that this one is in kilo ohms, 200 k. Okay. Wait. All right, and then for the R3, if you want to put a mega, that's also possible. Okay. So let's say 100 mega. Okay. Mean um, this one uh, is in a million. So this one is in thousand. This one is in a million. Okay. So this is also uh, possible. So with that, the next thing that you guys uh, need to do is maybe uh, check the current of this uh, circuit. So to do that one, just go to the uh, running man or go to the uh, simulate uh, tab right here. So just click that one and then edit simulation command. And then for the stop time, this is just the time that, you know, uh, how many seconds or how many milliseconds your uh, circuit will run uh, upon uh, clicking the uh, run button. Okay. So in here, I'll put, let's say, 5 milliseconds. And then I always put it beside the ground. So just put here uh, at run 5 milliseconds. That's indicator that this, uh, this will run uh, for 5 uh, milliseconds. Okay. So after that, then you can now hit the run icon. And then you can now um, hit this one and then measure the voltage that is uh, flowing in this uh, circuit right here. So as you guys can see, we have 10 volts. And then we have here uh, 9 point something, 9.97. So uh, we've got a voltage drop of uh, 0 0.03 after passing through this uh, resistance right here. And if you're going to check the others, <laughs> So we now have a 4.98 microvolts. So that is already super small since the uh, volume of the resistance is super big. You know, it's like almost a zero already. It's like uh, no uh, voltage uh, is flowing uh, to this uh, resistance already, especially to this R3, okay? So VN003 is 4.98 uh, microvolts. Okay? So that's super... Uh, small already, okay? So yeah, that's it for the voltage uh, that is passing through in this uh, circuit. And then for the current, if you want to measure the current, just hold your alt, 
Okay, hold your Alt and then uh, upon hovering your mouse on this uh, right here or wire, then you will see this uh, icon. So just left click that one and then you will have a 49.875 5 microamp. So let's have a realistic value since this one is causing us to have a micro value. Okay, so right here, we have a current of 12.5 milliamps, right? That's for the IR1. And then for the IR2, so that's still the same since uh, we have a uh, series connection. So it will not change. So we only have one flow of current. But if you want to get the individual currents, then you should uh, put it right here, the cursor uh, on the uh, R1, R2, and R3. So with that, you'll be able to get the individual currents that is flowing, though I guess uh, it's still the same. Okay. So the only uh, thing that uh, uh, will be different is the voltage. Okay, since uh, we'll have a voltage drop in here, and then another voltage drop, and then another voltage drop. So they will not be the same. But for the current, so we have the same all through. Okay. And then if you want to measure a power, okay, so just hold your out uh, button and then just put that one on specific component. So for the R1, we have here 78.12 milliwatts. Okay. For the R2, we have here 31.25 milliwatts. For the R3, we have here uh, 15.62 milliwatts. Okay. So those are the things that you can do uh, using the, uh, where is that one? Let me just stop this one. Using the transient uh, analysis, okay, or this transient uh, tab right here. Though you can also use this DC uh, op PNT. Okay, just click this one, I'll click that one, and then hit OK, and then hit Run. And then it will show you this uh, individual voltages okay, across 